Hi guys, this is Hassan. Welcome to my 17th lecture on Scratch Game Programming Tutorial. So this is uh, part 2 of the game called Touching Balloon Game. So if you have watched um, 16, lecture 16, you have seen that we started a new game project called Touching Balloon Game. So if you have followed that lecture, uh, you know that we started to work on uh, one of the balloons, the green one. So let's just start from here. So I told you that um, when the game starts, you want to set the score zero. One important thing I should show you, when you're making a variable, remember we made this uh, score as our variable, right? When you're making the variable, make sure uh, that it's visible for all the sprites so here you can see that uh, you can choose uh, the variable wherever you write so let's just go one well, that will be a new um, variable and you can make it available for all the sprites or you can make it for this sprite so if you click it for this sprite, so that means the score will work only for the green balloon. But we want to see the score for all the balloons. That's why we have chosen a score for all the sprites. Okay, this is important. Alright, and uh, so the next thing when uh, we started implementing this game is that set the position of the balloon. So, you should be under the scripts. Remember, there are three tabs here. When you're under scripts, click motion. And here you can see the position of the balloon. So, what is the position? Go to x, negative 204, and y is negative 168. The positions are very important. If you don't remember how to fix the position, you can keep the cursor on the screen and here you can see it tells you the position so if I hold it in the middle it says X is negative 12 and Y is 24 if you are going up that is change of Y positive Y if you're going down that is also change of Y but that's negative Y so if you don't remember it what you can do you can slowly move the cursor up and you'll see that your y is changing your x is also changing because I'm not going through a straight line it's slightly moving but mostly you can see the change of y okay if I go down slowly you'll see that's also change of y but it's going down so 44 43 and if you want to know which one is x you can move to your right if you move right you'll see that your X is changing rapidly Y will be changing a little bit because I'm not going for a straight line so you can see X is uh, 59 60 61 62 and if you're going to the left you can see the X is also changing but it's going slowly towards the negative right so if you don't remember you can use this method to find out which one is right so um, for this game uh, there is one more important thing to know that if you fix the code for one balloon and then you can copy the code for all the other balloons because all the other balloons are going to do the same thing right but you can control the speed apart from the speed you'll see the code is same for all the balloons so I'll show you so when you set the position you see uh, for the green balloon your position is here negative 204 and Y is negative 168 so after setting the position what the balloon should do it should start flying right so how do you 
make the balloon fly. Remember, the balloon should be moving up. So moving up means what? Change of what? Change of y. If you don't remember, you can put the cursor here and slowly you can move up. And you will see your y is changing rapidly. Right? So I know that it is change of y. So you know it is change of y. So what I want to do is make the change happen. So so from here I need to do change of y. Right? So let's see what happens. So let's change by 10. So let's click the flag. You see it moved. 10 steps one time but no it's not flying right remember if you want to change something continuously you obviously need the block called forever right so forever should, should be changing so forever change y by 10 so now let's see what happens now it's changing right now remember if you don't set the position go to x this you'll see what happens if I don't set the position the flag is click you cannot see the green balloon right because it is somewhere here but we cannot see it so obviously you need to set the position if you don't set the position your balloon will not gonna start from this position right let's try again now you can see right so every time you start it will start from here okay okay so this part is done so the next part the balloon is flying very rapidly so I can control the speed so instead of 10 I can say 4 so change y by 4 now let's say it's going slowly okay so if you have remembered the game that when the balloon is flying if you touch the balloon the balloon will disappear right and it will start from its starting point so that's another part so let's start doing that part so when flag is clicked if you touch the balloon your score will change remember how many things are happening so when so first thing uh, the balloon is flying that's fine when you start the game the balloon starts to fly if you touch the balloon the balloon will disappear first thing next thing the balloon will move to the starting point where is the starting point the starting point is go to x negative 204 and y is negative 168 so every time you touch the balloon remember this is uh, under a forever loop so the change I mean the position will be changing right so you need to make sure that you use a forever loop right so again I need a forever loop so inside the forever loop what I need if touching balloon right so which block I should use so if block and touching so if where is the if block it should be under the control so if touching what touching the mouse pointer so when the balloon is flying the actually what's happening is that the mouse pointer is touching the balloon but it's the same thing if you say if touching the mouse pointer if you if the mouse pointer is touching the balloon or the balloon touching the mouse pointer is the same thing if touching the balloon what should happen you want to hide the balloon right so the balloon will be hidden okay so let's see what happens see it's hidden okay but we have to fix a few more things but we'll do it slowly so let's stop here and you can check what happened okay so that's it for today. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.